My name is Oliver Arnolds and I'm a musician from Iceland and a composer. Um, I play classical music but very um, kind of more directed towards other scenes than class the classical scene because I think the, the classical scene doesn't really interest me as, as such. I rather want to get my music out there to, to uh, people who don't normally listen to classical music. So. So my music is a mix of, of both worlds, really. Uh, <laughs> I, I see myself as uh, maybe a, a neoclassical composer, or, or a, I don't know, I, I'm just a musician, I guess that's a, the word for it. <laughs> um, the classical, classical music, I think, I think it's very, I mean, it's, it's great. It's a great form of music and it's one of my favorites, but the classical scene is so closed, it's so elitist, um, and a lot of it today is just about making music that no one understands except other teachers and students of classical music who have studied this, you know, it's, it gets so complicated and... But uh, I'd rather have it just about f feelings and, and delivering something to anyone, and, and I like to open it up, so I think that's why I, I like to be in between, because I want to make music that um, affects people and it makes me happy if it affects as many people as possible and not just a small group of people. So I, I write the music on piano and I use strings very much. So it, it's usually based around piano and strings but the music itself, even though the, these are classical instruments, the music itself isn't necessarily very classical. And then I mix it in with electronic instruments or, or just instruments from rock music like drums or even guitars and stuff like that. Um, found songs is an um, idea I had. I had a lot of um, old ideas or sketches that I never found a place to finish or, or a reason to finish. And I wanted to just use these ideas and get them out to people. Um, and I wanted to find some creative way to do that, so I used the social media to to get it out. I used I released the songs on Twitter initially, each day, and um, which is a very good platform for re releasing them because people can also retweet my songs to their followers, and they retweet it to their followers, so it spreads around really fast. Um, at the end of the week, we had um, the album. Well, the seven songs were downloaded forty thousand times. It spread around very fast and we got the people to contribute So, because I really believe that it's important to interact with your fans and your listeners. So we got the people to um, send in artwork if they felt inspired by the song and if they saw some image they could go and take a picture, draw a picture and send it to us via Flickr. And we made a group there and we had almost 500 pictures sent to us. And then I chose the best ones and uh, later we released the songs on, on a CD and vinyl and we used the pictures in the artwork and, and I, I think that's really good because you're giving the fans something back, you're promoting their art as well and they feel involved with the project, which is also very good for me because that means they will go to all their friends and tell them about it uh, and it just inspires this word of mouth kind of thing. I speak to my fans on, on Twitter or Facebook. If they send me messages, I always reply. That's just a policy I have. If I possibly can and have the time, I will always reply. Um, some, with some of them, I have art, more artistic relationships. Um, we inspire each other, we talk about art. Um, they tell me stories how I have affected them, and those stories inspire me a lot and those stories are something that keep me going so it's a two-sided thing it's not just about selling more music or getting the word out there it's also just a reward for me and and you know as well as well as for them it's a reward and, and it gives us a reason to keep on doing what we're doing well i started by mostly using myspace when that was still popular um, I would just add friends of bands that sounded similar to me or people that I thought would like my music and uh, 
um, then I started booking some shows in Europe by myself and I would go and find people from the towns that I was playing and also just the smaller towns, not necessarily the big towns, but because in a small town it's easier to create the, you know, to find two people that will meet in the street and talk about it than in big cities. So I, I didn't necessarily concentrate on like the biggest cities. Um, so yeah, I did a lot of people in these towns and in the end when I went out to those shows, I was starting in, in Germany, my first shows. Um, they were all sold out and I didn't have even an album out or a, a label or anything. I mean, if without the internet and everything, I, I might still be a successful musician. There's no way to know, but it probably wouldn't have happened as fast for the first thing. And it might not have happened at all because in, 15 years ago, it was just a totally different thing you need to get signed to and to be able to live off your music, basically. Um, and to get signed was also a bit of luck, you know, just if the right person in the right company likes your music. <laughs> um, so nothing might have happened at all. But at the same time, something could have happened and I could be selling even more albums because people were actually buying albums 15 years ago. I make my living mostly through um, publishing, like, syncs to movies and advertisements and uh, also just commissions because I, I'm, I'm a composer I can I'm often asked to write for maybe a dance work a ballet or or something like that so those are projects that you actually still get paid for <laughs> so that enables us to do a living but a significant part though still comes from um, CD sales and all that it's, it's a very important part still we shouldn't forget about that yet. Um, in 10 years, I hope, I hope that I will still be doing what I'm doing without being repeating myself. I hope that I'm, I will be doing music, but I will have developed and evolved in a good way, <laughs> not a bad way. Um, I hope that my music will be heard by even more people than, than now. And, uh, that allows me to keep doing what I'm doing, hopefully for the rest of my life or as long as I'm interested in, in doing it.